say hi YouTube. Can you guys see her? So yeah, um, and I, I really wanted to update you guys a long time ago, but we are back at home living with my parents. Oh, there was an unfortunate, um, I would say more like an unfortunate series of events. Oh, there we go. There was an unfortunate series of events, and it led to us having to move out at the beginning of this month. And so, okay, so we moved back in with my parents, and um, so far so good. We've only been there consistently for about a week. I'm sorry, she just wants to say hi, you two. She's in a little car seat, and she doesn't have any shoes. I, I just, okay, so, um, yeah, uh, we have, okay. yeah, the big box is back at Popeye's, and Sean has been, her dad's been feeding me, so, I'm like kind of uh, spoiled with that, so, anyway, we are back at my parents' house, unfortunately, there was a snafu, a series of unfortunate events, I ended up having two jobs at once, October, November, and December was my last month at my first job, so I had to quit from there. And then, um, after I quit from the place in December, I lost my second job in February. So, from December to February, my apartment complex decided that they wanted to raise the rent, so they um, got us out of there. And since the beginning of, well, no, since like mid-March we've been at my parents' house. That hasn't been too long. Um, but I do have really good news. I'm starting my new job with the an employment agency that's not just county. It's not county. It's not just county or city. It's also federal. So it's county, city, and federal here in California. And I will be starting on April 3rd. That's two days before my birthday. So we are say we are excited. Mommy's starting her new job. Oh my god. Yeah, we're really excited about that. And excuse the the bonnet, but um I just thought I needed to come on an update. Uh Thanksgiving was fine, Christmas was fine, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. New Year's Day was her birthday, so she's one. She's 15 months. Ashanti's 15 months now, and it's actually um, what's fun. There was just nothing to record. That's why I didn't, and I didn't forget about YouTube. There was just see, there's nothing to record. But there are videos for her birthday that I should post. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and pulled over. So uh, back at my parents' house, what I did was go ahead and on like the weekends and stuff we do stay in motels that's why I'm like okay well we're not really there but it, it's very stressful <laughs> with the no housing thing and we are in Sacramento California and there's a really big housing crisis so everything is a wait list where even for like a one bedroom one bath is a wait list studios are now $900 a month well, okay, I'm exaggerating. Studios are about eight fifty, seven fifty, eight fifty, and a one bedroom is running about eight fifty to thousand, eleven hundred. So we're caught up in the crisis. I just have to wait to start the job, so that's exciting, and it's gonna be permanent, full time benefits. I'm gonna try to. Um, well, I really haven't told anybody this, but I'm gonna try to get the weight loss surgery or do IVF or both. I really want, it's going to be real health insurance and not just going to be Medi-Cal, which is Medicaid everywhere else. We're going to be um, having real health insurance, have a real place to live once I get the income, and uh, I'm going to do IVF. I think I, I, I don't know if I'll need it, but I definitely need some type of fertility treatment. PCOS-wise, my symptoms are all back. I have uh, facial hair, acanthosis. Uh, now I have acne since having the baby, and... Um, let me turn on some air. I'm sorry, baby. All right. And, um, my periods are regular, but I don't think I'm ovulating. Plus, last month I had, like, <laughs> it's an embarrassing story, but pretty much, um, I had my period at the beginning of February, and at the, and it stopped, like, on the 8th or the 9th, and on the 11th of, Fe of March, a tampon fell out of me. So, go back. I thought I was ovulating the end of February, and it was just, <laughs> so I went to OBGYN. I'm fine. Nothing else is in there. That's my embarrassing story, my gyne gynecological issues. 
Say hi. Say how you do. Say how you do. Oh, no, no, don't touch. She's going to touch and turn it off. So that's what happened. And I think that set me back um, fertility-wise because I probably tried to ovulate, and, but how can you um, get pregnant with and something up there? <laughs> it's like pretty much the tampon acted like a Mirena birth control. Or sponge, you know, or the sex sponge or sex, uh, diaphragm. So, um, yeah, that was a little mishap. So, uh, fertility-wise, I don't know if I'm ovulating. I, I really don't. But I think that I just need to go back to the fertility clinic and um, also see an endocrinologist and get my PCOS in order. So, yeah, um, that's about it. I didn't want to make a video too long. And I know, again, sorry for the head rush. Are you sleepy? Say hi. Say I'm Shanti. <laughs> yeah, Shanti's 15 months. So, uh, PCOS wise, I am still. I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah, this is the life. Um, I plan on getting into my own apartment next. God, I'm praying by October. Or sooner. And since everywhere is waitlisted, I mean, there's really nothing that I can do. Everywhere is a waitlist. And the apartment I was just living in has raised their rent by $100 since I moved in in October. So it, my apartment was $10.65 um, and now it's $11.65. So, yeah, it's just $1,100 and... Sixty-five dollars, one thousand one hundred fifty-six. So yeah, it was really stressed out, and I wanted to make a video so bad about what was going on, but I'm embarrassed. Like I'm easily embarrassed. I don't know if you guys realize that. Um, I can't talk to people about this stuff. In like I, I don't really have friends like that since having Ashanti. And when I talk about oh, I have nowhere to live, most of the people that are my age are still living at home. They don't have kids. The people that I know. So yeah. Um. Anywho, I still have the car. Uh, everything's going fine with that. School's going good. I'm still in school. Uh, and uh, PCOS symptoms. So work is starting, and day, uh, she's starting daycare the same day I start work. So we're we're all we're all ready to go. So say bye, YouTube. Mommy's just wamblings. Mama's just playing plans. Yeah. Okay, so, anywho, um, when I get another update or whenever I feel comfortable again, I will record. I'm not sure because I recorded a, a first part of this video and it didn't go, so I'm not sure if I'll add it to this with an app or whatever, but, um, yeah, so that's my update and I really felt like it's important for me to be open and honest on my on my YouTube channel because I can't be this open and honest on Facebook I have two different Facebook pages I'll probably put the second one up there but there's one Facebook page that's just for family only because I find my family to be very judgmental and there you go